2021 is going to be a crazy year. 2020 has been an interesting year to say the least. We've seen things come and go, we've seen platforms explode and others fall. And although the year is not yet over, as Cervantes once said, to be prepared is half the victory. That is why in this video, I'm going to share with you the top seven marketing trends to watch out for in 2021 and how you can use them to get ahead of the curve, monetize even further and get better results with your marketing. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jaime and I run one of the leading e-com agencies in the world. And over the past few weeks, my team and I have been prepping for the explosion of these trends that I'm about to share with you. And I want you to be prepared for them. So I'm super excited for this video. And with that being said, let's go right into it. The first marketing trend you need to know about is voice search. And here are a few facts just to illustrate the importance and the massive role that it's going to play in 2021. At this current point in time, close to 50% of all searches are being voice powered with 3.25 billion people currently using voice activated search. The industry is estimated to hit $35.5 billion in 2025. And with that much money in the table, there's bound to be a massive battle between advertising platforms to see who's going to conquer the voice powered market. And as marketers and advertisers, it's down to us to figure out how we can get in front of these people using voice activated search in the most profitable way possible. So that is the first trend. And now to the second one. The second trend is influencer marketing. And I know what you're thinking. Influencer marketing has been around for a while now, but in 2021, we're going to see the rise of micro influencers to a point where micro influencers are going to be an essential part of any advertising strategy for any brand out there. But why exactly are micro influencers so powerful? Number one is that they are specialized in a niche. So not only do they have more authority, but also the brand investing in them has the reassurance that they're reaching the right audience with them. They also tend to have higher engagement because they can actually build a lot more support with their audience. And the third thing is that they love when people smash the like button when they watch their content. And so if you haven't done so on this video, go ahead and smash the like button it really helps out with the algorithm. And I would really, really appreciate it. And the third reason why micro influencers are on the rise is because obviously they're more cost effective for businesses. And the great thing about influencer marketing that I'm seeing with my agency for my clients and also the brands that I partner with on my TikTok is the fact that businesses are really monitoring performance of these videos. It's not like 2018 or 2019 where you would just invest in an influencer and it almost felt like a gamble. Instead, brands are really monitoring performance and they're very closely looking at their return on their investment by using affiliate links, by using impressions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that is the second trend and now to the third trend. Third marketing trend is visually enhanced marketing through the use of virtual reality and augmented reality. You might have seen some of these ads already where you can literally try on a pair of shoes before you buy them or a pair of glasses to just see how it looks on your face. The fact is, especially in the current landscape where people don't really want to risk going into a store, augmented reality will offer people the possibility of trying things on at home. So this trend is going to be massive in 2021. And here are some facts you need to know about virtual reality and augmented reality that will make you see the importance of them going into 2021. The first one is augmented reality advertising spend grew 94% from 2014 to 2000. 2017. Compare that to a 53% increase in search and display ads. The second thing is when it comes to platforms, it seems like Snapchat is one of the pioneers, giving people the ability to try on products in real life. But Facebook has also followed closely testing AR ads in their newsfeed too. But what are some of the benefits of AR and VR ads? The first and biggest one by far is that it invokes an emotional response because people can actually interact with the content and not just look at it. And so there's actually less immunity to these ads, meaning that people are actually way more receptive because it makes it fun for them. And the second thing is that virtual trials where people can actually try on the product without leaving their home has actually proven to increase sales. So that is the third trend and on to the fourth trend. The fourth trend is video content marketing, where a picture paints a thousand words, a video can produce millions. And here are some stats to keep in mind. Number one is that 80 plus percent of consumer online traffic involves video watching. And secondly, half of today's consumers prefer watching video content from brands. And we've actually seen this with the explosion of TikTok because it actually helps build way more rapport with brands as it actually stimulates and engages a lot more senses. Here are five video formats that are going to be incredibly valuable in 2021. Number one is 360 degree video experiences. These have an average of 85% completion rate compared to 58% for regular videos. Number two, live videos. There's simply no better way of build and report with an audience. Number three is search optimized videos, just like for example, this video right here, which will live on for years on end. Search optimized videos have a much higher lifetime value to brands. And not only that, but they can actually gather a ton of organic traffic by using them. Number four is educational videos. Pretty much every single e-commerce brand out there who's killing it actually have an educational component to their brand, whether it's Gymshark with their workout routines or Fenty Beauty with their Fenty University. The fact is education needs to be a vital component for any brand. And the fifth type of video 
is vlogging for brands. And we're actually starting to see this with brands like Goop. The fifth trend is personalization. Having a great product is not enough nowadays. The customer really wants a brand to care about them and not just feel like they're one in hundreds of thousands of customers. So creating the customer journey where the customer feels spoken to is vital. And it's actually one of the first things that we ever do for our clients. You can actually do this in three different ways. Number one is email marketing. So you can create segments based on behavioral data. For example, if they've already bought from you three times or four times, they should get different messaging than someone who's purchasing for their first time. You can also create a VIP segments. Or for example, you could even personalize website pop-ups so that the person who's visiting the site for the first time gets a different pop-up than someone who's visited the time for the 10th time. The second way is implementing the exact same strategy but applying it for messenger chatbots. The third way of achieving personalization are those brands that are literally creating products and formulas customized to each customer. For example, brands like Care Off, where they give you a supplement split depending on your goals, whether it's to drop weight, to have more energy or to detox your body. And not only that, but each product that you order has your name on the package. The sixth marketing trend is the end of funnels and the rise of the flywheel. Now, let me explain what I mean by this. When brands advertise online, what they're doing is they're spending money to acquire a customer and hopefully this customer spends more than they pay to acquire the customer. But the problem with that approach is that they pay for this one customer and they have this kind of downward spiral effect where one customer that you paid for turns into zero. The new way of marketing is treating your customers as the biggest marketing asset. What this means is sure, you can spend money on acquiring a customer, but then this one customer that you paid for to acquire brings in two new customers. And then these two new customers bring in four new customers and you have this kind of spiral growth effect. But you're actually only paying for this one initial customer. But with very smart growth hacks and treating this customer like your biggest marketing asset, this customer raves about your product and brings in a lot more people into the brand, which is great not only for the growth, but it actually means that you can spend a lot more to acquire this customer because the value of this customer is not only what they purchase, but all the new customers that they bring into the brand. And the final trend, speaking of funnels, is shorter sales funnels. We've seen this with Instagram shopping and Instagram partnering with Shopify to give people the ability to check out within Instagram. Anything that we can do to make that sales funnel shorter and reduce friction is gonna be massively beneficial.